my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room that saw a lot of action this week. I was in here a lot. I love to create. I love to, uh, I don't know, bring things to life, take fabric and turn it into something. I, I love doing that. And I have to tell you, I'm at a place in my life where I can. My time is my own. I have all the time in the world to come in and sew. And I even remember thinking uh, when my kids were little, someday I'm gonna have all the time in the world to sew and I won't be so busy. And here I am. Not everybody has that, but I don't always do that every week. And how much you get done is always relative to your life. And so it's important not to measure your success against someone else's. I don't create things just to be able to talk to you about them. I create them because this is what I love, but I can get a lot done and it's because of my stage of life and the way my life works and all of that. So anyway, okay. So this week, the first thing I did was make this little tote. This is a tote that was designed by Andra from Andra Makes. It turned out really well. I think my bag making skills need a little work. This is not perfect, not like I would like. And I also learned that if you're gonna go through uh, fusible foam plus interfacing plus four layers of fabric, you need to have a machine that can handle that. And I don't know that this one can. Uh, it, you know, it will sew through layers, but if you're going around a curve or something, no, that is just not gonna work. I lost my presser foot two or three times. I broke two or three needles. So, you know, you just need a not messing around with this machine. <laughs> you need a machine that's uh, really up to the task. And I, I don't have one of those, I don't think. But um, I'm happy with this. It's got uh, three pockets here. This pocket uh, will give a little. It's uh, got some pleats here on the side. It's got pockets on the ends right here. Three more over here. There's one there, one there, and one there. Or you can make two if you wanted to. Um, it's lined. It's got two pockets on the ends inside. And um, I think I'm gonna give it away as a Christmas present. I went through a bunch of stuff that I had cut out and uh, I found this. This was something I was going to make. It's the Vera T by Forget Me Not. And my daughter had cut it out because she wanted to make it with her little machine and she has not. And I have no confidence that she will do it. Well, especially since I've already done it for her. I love this neckline. I love the way that that is done. Uh, I. I think it's the way that the neckline is cut. It has this little kind of forked edge at the ends, and that makes it really easy to match up the V. So when I do V necklines now with a binding, I usually do it like this. So yeah, it's just a little t-shirt. It's very soft. Now it's done. It's not sitting over there in the, are you ever gonna get to me file? <laughs> so you know what I should just do is this. Yeah, I should do that. I worked on the portfolio dress. This is Simplicity 2245. It's an older pattern. Good luck finding it. I've searched. I can't find it anywhere. But I did save my search on eBay. So if it comes up, eBay will email me and say, hey, we found this pattern. Um, this was traced off for me. These are just photocopies of paper. I mean, it's not an envelope. Um, she traced it off for me, my BFF Trish because she's made this a couple, three, four times and she loves it. And the last one she made was green and it was so cute. So I put it together and I didn't like it. And I had, I don't know what happened. She never uses the face, the collar piece. And so she didn't trace it off. And so I just said, no problem. I just created one. So okay, I got it on and I hated it. I thought this looks terrible. So I took off the collar and then I didn't like another little piece on it. So I took that off and redid it. And then I put it on and I thought this looks awful. I don't know what's wrong here. I used bias tape to finish the neckline. And so last night I was in here and I was, I put it on the dress form and started playing with it. And I, 
pinned a bunch of stuff on and I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's really doing it. But I also thought, you know what? I need to sit with this. I need to just kind of let this marinate a little bit. Leave it on the dress form, look at it, get some fresh eyes tomorrow morning or, you know, next week or something, but kind of live with it a little while before I do anything because the changes that I've made mean that I'm gonna have to take the entire thing apart, but that's okay. You know, I don't mind that. And here's why. If I had left it at, well, this looks okay. It doesn't look great. I would never wear it. What is the point of investing the time to make something that I'm never gonna wear? I don't like that. So I am willing to put in the work and take it apart and put it together in such a way that yes, now, now I love it. Now it looks good. So, okay, I uh, had to go get some bias tape for the neckline for that. And while I was at Hobby Lobby, I found a couple of things. I found this new look pattern and I had never seen it before. It's new look 6733. And I thought, ooh, I like that. And I like it especially because I've been making pants lately and I don't wear them tucked in and this doesn't have to be tucked in. In fact, this is made out of a knit that ties in the back. How cool is that? So these are very adjustable. A couple of sleeve options there. You can do a flutter sleeve or a gathered elastic band sleeve. So probably need something like a rayon jersey, a very fluid fabric for this so that those, those uh, gathers kind of will work the way that they're supposed to. And it does call for knits, but I just really liked it. So picked that up and I went looking just kind of wandering through and they have a little tiny baby section. And of course I've been focusing in on baby things lately. So I walked past, they had this little onesie that said, I believe you were expecting me. <laughs> I thought, I love that. That's my kind of humor. So in walking and wandering, which, you know, as you do in Hobby Lobby, I came across onesies that they have and they're hanging there kind of like all their sweatshirts and t-shirts so that you can buy one and then decorate it or, you know, whatever you want to do. So I found this. I got a hold of my friend uh, Michelle and I said, hey, can you do this on a Cricut for me? Because she has a Cricut machine, but she doesn't use it. And she had said, hey, if you ever need for me to do anything for you, let me know. So I asked her if she would and she said yes. So she's gonna make that saying, and I'm gonna put it on this onesie. This is a nice soft onesie. I mean, I feel like it's decent quality. Um, and it's got that little wrapped shoulder that you can see right there. And I tell you that because I was thinking I was gonna have to leave today and get more of this fabric from Joann's. What the problem was, was this little shirt right here. It calls for bias tape. It's got one of those wrapped shoulders and you have to uh, finish the shoulder seams with a binding like that is. And this one, they just use the same fabric. And I thought, well, I could do that. And I went looking through the scraps and I don't have enough scraps to do that. So what I thought I would do is just get more fabric, but I went through my stash and I found this. This is just probably, it was a Walmart bundle and I think it's gonna work great. I think that is gonna make a nice little neckline binding and probably uh, the ends of the sleeves and probably around the legs, but I think that's gonna work. It's It feels just like binding actually. That's exactly what it feels like. Um, so yeah, and I was also looking for uh, lining for this fabric. This is uh, a fleece that I got at Joann's and I'm making kind of a swaddle thing. I don't know, it's shaped like a T and you, it's like a sleeping bag at the bottom and then the sides wrap over and they fasten with Velcro and um, it swaddles the baby. So I wanted to make it heavy enough that it could be worn outside. So I thought, 
once again, I'm going to have to go to Joann's and find some more of this or something that coordinates with this that I can use to line the thing. Once again, I went shopping in my stash this morning and I found this, which I think is going to work great. I think this came from Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. It feels like it did because I know they have this fabric. And of course, I was just there and I know I, I saw some of this. It's like a ribbed knit. It's very lightweight, but that's perfect for the fleece because I wouldn't want it to be too heavy. So that is going to be that. And uh, then... I finished these. They're so cute. Let's see if I get them on, go in the right direction. Look how cute those are. Oh my gosh, the cuteness is just, I'm on overload. The cuteness has me overwhelmed. These are Simplicity 9459. They're just little, little joggers, little pants. Uh, they're probably going to be too big at first, but uh, he'll grow into them. And I gotta tell you, this little cuff was a bear to get on to these legs because you don't gather it, you just stretch the, the cuff to fit the bottom of the pants leg. And this stuff is thick and it did not wanna stretch. So I probably should have given up and just, I don't know, gathered it or something, but I didn't, I just fought with it and it worked. They're elastic waist, and this is a performance fabric from Joann's, and it's a knit. It's fairly heavy. Uh, it's fuzzy, soft on the inside, so that's good for the little baby legs. So, yeah, got those done. So now I just need to work on the shirt, and I'll be good. After I figured all that stuff out this morning, then I picked up um, this Marcy Tilton, dress Vogue 8876 and I'm going to work on that. I interfaced the collar for that this morning and I've got that all down here, <laughs> all the pieces. You know what I do? I uh, used all my pins when I pinned everything together when I and cut things out when I was, uh, didn't have power in the hurricane and or during the hurricane. And then I took all the pins out and I just left the pieces kind of laying with the fabrics. And I put them in order, one, two, you know, one, two, three, four, five, or however, you know, how the order goes. And that way it makes a nice little stack that I can immediately get to and um, I can leave it in the stack and then put the pieces away as I use them. And I don't have to mess with pins. And now I have, I did that with everything. And now I've got so many pins on my little thing. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, this was pretty bare. Now it's all filled up again. That's what's been going on in my sewing room. As always, please check out all the Friday sewists. There are all kinds that have jumped on board and you will always find somebody new that you love. I did that this week. If you ever want to see a playlist, I always tell you about that in the end of mine. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. There's that playlist I was mentioning. And let me leave you with this. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God.